Hello friends, welcome to MATLAB school. In this video, we are going to simulate the speed control of BLDC motor using model predictive controller. Uh, let us get into the simulation part. Uh, the same model is available for download and the link given in the description. You can download it and you can use it for your purpose. <laughs> Okay, so uh, initially we need to tune the uh, model predictive controller. So to tune the model predictive controller, uh, we need to uh, formulate the transfer function for the existing model. If you know the transfer function, we can directly proceed with that. Uh, otherwise, if you don't know the transfer function of the model, uh, we can uh, derive the transfer function. So derive the transfer function, uh, actually what we have here is, uh, uh, we are giving input to the system and we are taking the output of the system. So uh, uh, the out input of the system happens to be the pulse speed and the output of the system happens to be the uh, speed of the BLDC motor. Okay, so actually this is the BLDC motor and to this BLDC motor we have uh, gate pulses and the uh, pulse speed coming from here. Okay. Uh, the I mean uh, to control the uh, speed of the BLDC motor as you know uh, we need to sense the position of the rotor then only we can excite the corresponding state or voltage okay so to know the uh, position of the rotor uh, we are uh, uh, I mean we are sensing the position position with the help of heart sensors okay right so uh, from the hall sensors we are getting this data and then it will be sent to the gates and further it will be sent to the uh, inverter switches okay so this is the inverter okay, uh, let us uh, simulate this model to get the values of input and output uh, here the output is in terms of uh, uh, rpm the actual speed will be in terms of radians per second and that has to be converted to uh, uh, RPM. Okay. So we shall run the model now. Yes, if you run the model, we will be getting two values input and output uh, at the workspace. Okay, the model is running now. Okay, now it is completed. So let us see the uh, speed response of this input. Okay, so this is the speed response of the uh, system in open loop configuration for a value of 0.4. Okay, so let us see the uh, values here. Okay, input and output. Okay, right. Uh, now we need to find out the transfer function of this model. So we need to go for system identification. We have to choose this app. Since it's a system identification app, you select time domain data. Uh, here you give the uh, variable name input and the output variable name is output. Okay, we shall give zero here and the sampling time. which we have here is this much okay we shall feed in the data now okay this is the sample time import okay 
So now we need to estimate the transfer function. Okay, so give estimate. Now the estimation is happening. Okay, so now uh, uh, the estimation has completed. Okay, now let us see the transfer function. Okay, so this is our transfer function. So if you export it, it will be available there in the workspace. Okay, so we have, we have the transfer function TF2 here. So let me, uh, uh, I mean, let us tune the MPC controller. So to tune the MPC controller, uh, we need to have this MPC block and you have a transfer function. So in the transfer function, you put uh, the name of the transfer function that we have uh, just now derived. Okay. Uh, then you double click this. Design. MPC structure, you have to click uh, MPC structure, then uh, define and linearize. Okay. The tuning is happening now. Okay, I think the tuning has completed now. Okay, yes. So you have to click update and uh, run simulation okay so if you uh, give this it will start to run okay let us see some issues Okay, yes. Now it is settling exactly at 1500. So 1500 RPM happens to be your input uh, reference speed. So <clears throat> you can see the system settling at 1500 RPM <coughs> exactly. So what we can do now is just we can copy out the uh, MPC controller. Okay, you can just copy the MPC controller here and you can insert. here okay so what you have to do here is just to delete these things you give the reference pin you can give any speed i am giving thousand now MD is uh, model disturbance. I am assuming the model disturbance to be zero here. 
m uh, oh, uh, that is the model output so model output happens to be the speed limit. Okay. so now we shall delete this now the mpc is ready we shall run mpc now It's compiling now. Okay, as you can see, the speed is exactly setting at uh, thousand. Okay, so our reference speed is uh, thousand here. So if you give some other speed, it will settle at that speed also we shall try with uh, uh, 1500 rpm and we shall try to run it so for the previous speed of uh, 1000 rpm it has settled at 1000 rpm exactly now let us see yes now it is settling exactly at 1500 rpm okay so uh, this mpc is working perfectly fine uh, the same model is available for download uh, in the link given in the description uh, if you want you can download it and you can use it for your purpose thanks for uh, uh, watching out for video um, please uh, subscribe our channel also uh, please like i mean uh, hit the like button thank you